Hey, what's going on, everybody? So here's a video of uh, I went to this uh, thing called Gold Rush, Gold Rush Days of uh, the small town, and I think it's like a three-day festivity where they have other things going on, but um, basically the whole town turns into like a flea market type thing. I went last year and checked it out. It was pretty cool. It's actually about a couple hours for me, so I was the only one that went to it out of my family. But yeah, I had a great time there. Uh, I didn't buy, well, I did get one thing there, but um, everything was really high and pricey. Uh, a lot of a lot of nice collectibles and stuff to see there, but again, everything was kind of price high. Um, so here's a video of the whole day, and hope you like it, and I'll show you the one thing I did get there at the very end. I think that's 16. Would you do 10? I would. Alright. I check on eBay and that's what they said, but I'll... Why does this collect anything from the... That era? Yeah. Because okay. it grew up from that year. Yeah, well, I was born in 79, but anything from the 80s. Yeah. And GI yeah, Joe's was something I grew up with, and just yeah. everybody in the neighborhood well, had them. I lost them. <laughs> yeah. Like you didn't have them, somebody else had yeah. something, you know? Exactly. So it's like. So is it toys also? You yeah, are? yeah, but yeah, and I hardly had any of this stuff, but it's like, yeah, lately if I find stuff like this, I'll just try to get it. Yeah, it never been colored in. Yeah, and that's how I'll keep it, so. <laughs> like I, the other day, I just got a. Um, uh, I don't, it's from the 80s, but it's just a little fanny pack pouch and it has the G.I. Joe symbol on it or whatever. So that was something neat to add to the collection. That's some of it, yeah. So. Yeah, it's in tubs. Yeah. yeah, and that's how I have some of mine is mostly in tubs. No yeah. room to display nothing. But yeah, yeah, mine's in the garage. So Especially with the kids. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did you have, was that, um... Too? Was that the era? Yeah, yeah. Yep. And, yes. and then like later in the early 90s got into like the turtles a little bit and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. But yeah. Kind of went from one thing to another. I yep. so much of that now. Oh yeah, they're so yeah, and like now a lot of it to me I feel like a lot of the newer modern toys are obviously made different, they're cheaper. cheaper. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, I know I have some vintage toys from that era because he picked out what he couldn't out the attic and he picked out what he wanted to keep, which is like Star Wars and yeah, I do, and then the rest I 
Well, I can give you my number and maybe you can text me or shoot okay. me or something and down the road if you guys decide to get rid of anything, let me know. Mm -hmm. Why don't you put it on that? Give me your information and I'll, I don't know what's left in the shop. I, in fact, I'm trying to clear up some space and I have everything half price in the toy line. <laughs> so, so you want... G.I. Joe, G-Man, whatever you think that you could Yeah, I just put G.I. Joe or 80s toys. Okay. All right. I know I had some figures, but we'll see what's left. Don't you like that lady shirt? No, Thank you. you. This is your right. card then? Or? It is, yeah. All right, I'll just take that too then. All right, thanks. Nice meeting mm -hmm. you guys. Nice meeting you.
all right guys so this is what i got uh you didn't really see too much of it in the video but it's a gi joe coloring book uh really nice condition no pages colored like she said uh this is just stuff i collect so this was just going to be added as you can see she had uh 16 bucks and then in the video you can see i talked her down to 10 which is still kind of high but again it's going into my collection um a lot of it was a really cool place to visit uh, i went to it last year a lot of people there as you can see uh, a lot of stuff was really high priced um but um you never know what you'll find there but again just it was great just walking around looking at everything kind of gives you a little bit of a uh, knowledge and a lot of items maybe you might not know anything about and uh just kind of learn off of that and go from there but um yeah so this is what i got and uh, as you can see in the video hopefully i made a new contact and maybe down the road she can contact me or i'll contact her and see if i can't get a work some out with her